Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can open SharePoint list in Excel as well as we will see how we can update Excel from SharePoint list automatically. So basically, these are the things that we are going to cover in this video. We will see how we can open the SharePoint list in Excel and then we will see how we can update uh, the Excel from SharePoint list automatically. That's quite important. And then also I'll show you two error messages that I usually I got it while working with uh, this, uh, this scenario or uh, this example. So now let me uh, tell you the scenario that where you can uh, what where the business requirement is. Suppose you have a list and you want to get this list data in an Excel file. Now if I will actually show you uh, on the list here you can see I have this uh, uh, SharePoint employee list. It has couple of uh, items over there and uh, then there is one option which is saying that export to Excel. So this one you can export the items to an Excel file uh, on one button click and uh, this is uh, this is where you have a uh, where you know this site URL and then you can get it from there having little bit of developer knowledge and this is quite uh, easy now it support every browser uh, but it will not update now, now let's say if i want to uh, let's say tomorrow you added couple of more items then those items will not come again so that's the difference that uh, you 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 cannot use export to excel in at every scenario but if you just want to ex uh, export the data at one uh, just for once then you can use this export to excel option now, by the way, I have also written a article for the same. Uh, you can see here, and uh, you will get uh, uh, the entire things on this particular uh, URL. So I'll put the URL in the video description as well. And also, if you are interested for SharePoint trainings, I have a couple of training courses. You can see here, I have SharePoint development training, framework training, site owner training, Nintex, and uh, the Power Automate training as well, and a small client side development training also is there. And if you want to go for the entire training, then you can uh, you can get it. You can click over this URL, and you will see how we can enroll it, and you can get access to the entire course uh, for the lifetime. Now, I want according to the business requirement here, we want to get this data uh, in an Excel file, and the update should also happen. So what I'll do is I will go here and uh, I'll create a list. And in this, uh, sorry, I'll create an Excel file. In this case, you can see here, I have just an employee, uh, employee's Excel, and nothing is there on this uh, Excel file. You can see here, it's just a blank Excel file. Now, how we can do this is, you can go to the data tab, and then you can see here, get data, and uh, then you can see here, from online services, and uh, then you can see here, from SharePoint online list. So click on that. And once you click on that, it will open a dialog box where it will ask you to provide the site URL. Remember, though it is saying SharePoint list, you just put the site URL. So I'll go here, I will copy the site URL. You can see here, I put the URL, click on OK. So once you click on OK, then if you have not signed in, then it will ask you to sign in. And uh, you can use uh, the Microsoft uh, account, Office 365 account, and then you you will be able to uh, get it. So so once you sign in, then you will come up with this screen where it will saying it will open the all the list and libraries from that particular SharePoint site. You can see here. Now uh, if you will if I will show you actually, if you have not signed in, then you will get an error something or. A screen something like this you can see here uh, now it is saying sign in button you are not signed in and you can click on the sign in button then you sign in with your office 365 account and then finally you select the SharePoint site and click on connect so if you have not signed in then it will show you that option and once you have this then you can select employees and in this scenario if you'll see you are seeing two buttons here one button uh, is saying that uh, load and the other one is transform data. So if you look at this, the load, if I'll click on load, then it will load all the columns here. You can see there are a lot of hidden columns. I actually don't need all these columns. Uh, probably I want to just the columns like uh, I want the title, full name, uh, designation like this. I need these three, four columns. Maybe I'll just add the ID column like that. 
and uh, so if you if you want that way then uh, you you have to click on uh, you can see here transform data so once you click on transform data then it will open the query editor power query editor where you can actually select the columns that you require so in this case i will click on this choose columns and click on choose columns here again and uh, then you can see here it is showing me all the columns i'll just simply uh, select the first ones uncheck everything and then I can select the columns which I required in this case probably I require this four columns and then I'll click on ok now you can see here this is the data and then close and load so you can click on that and now if you'll see uh, now this is your data that uh, that has been there in the SharePoint list and uh, uh, you can see it is uh, it is uh, in the Excel file and uh, so this is how you can get the data here now this is uh, not uh, that's what we wanted to see we wanted to see now how we can actually uh, automatically update it for example if I will update or I, if I'll insert some uh, some of the data here then uh, it should actually uh, update there in this uh, list now for that uh, what we will do is I will go to meanwhile let me just insert one record so I'll just click on new item and then I will add here uh, mister and then I'll put here testing so ju just to know that this is the in record that we want to insert and I'll say senior consultant like this I'll click on save so we saved it uh, now, I'll, uh, now I'll go to the list uh, sorry through the excel and what I will do here is I will go to uh, the data tab again and then you can see here queries and connections if you click on that it will automatically open this this box and here what I'll do is click on this uh, refresh icon click on that and then uh, it will you can see here it is refreshing so this is how we can do it manually so manually you have to uh, click on the refresh icon and then it actually opened it so you can see here now it added uh, the testing and then senior consultant that's one thing that it did the other thing that we can do is uh, if you'll just click on this refresh icon and then click on edit and then you can see here properties so once you click on this properties you have couple of options here for example it is saying enable background refresh yes we want this and then if you'll see here refresh in every let's I'll put uh, one minute here uh, you can see here and then I will say refresh data when opening the file so let's say I close this file I'll open it it will do a refresh that time so you can click on ok and then you can see here uh, uh, refresh this connection on refresh all so uh, this is the refresh all button so if you'll enable this option which is by default on uh, then this uh, this connection will get refreshed now I'll click on ok so we gave that in one minute it will do a refresh and uh, what we'll do is I will just add one record here I will say mistress and then I'll put uh, testing one two three or one three four and then i'll put as consultant i'll save this now we save it uh, now if i'll open the excel ideally uh, it should automatically update after one minute because that's what the settings that we have done and uh, uh, so let's wait for a couple of seconds and then uh, we will see whether it is updating or not now you can see here it is uh, uploading uh, updating and you can see here now eight rows loaded and you can see the last one also testing one two three consultant is uh, the item is there so this is how we can do update automatically and these are the options that you can get the other thing that we can uh, do is uh, i wanted to show you a couple of error message now if you'll see uh, sometimes you might get this error unable to connect and then uh, access to the resources forbidden and then you can also get this error uh, remote server returned an error for not uh, for not on like this this is a simple thing that you can uh, do that to fix this issues let me just show you in that excel uh, one thing is the uh, the first error uh, the error which is saying unable to connect access to the resources forbidden so in this scenario uh, what i was doing is that i was going to data tab and then from web 
and then here i was trying to give the site url and trying to connect and that time it was going it was giving the error ideally you should not do that you can go to data and then get data and then from here you can go to from online service and then you can see uh, you can select uh, from sharepoint online list that's the one thing the other error that i was talking is unable to connect uh, this was what i was doing is i was doing here uh, from online service sharepoint online list but instead of providing the site url i was providing the complete list url for example if my list is employees list i was trying like this so it will give error to solve this just remove this you can just put the site url and then you literally you can select the list from the list of all the list and libraries which will be presented and it will be displaying that from there you can select this so if you will actually do those steps then you will be able to fix these two issues easily so if you like the videos kindly subscribe to our channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 power apps power bi all these technologies you will get spfx so all these technologies you get and also if you are interested for the training go for it check it out and uh, thank you and have a nice day